tonight, a disturbing case of possible animal cruelty and dog fighting in a local neighborhood. Police discover more than 30 dogs inside one house. Court documents describe the filthy conditions inside and out of the home. News 3 reporter Kofo Lasaki went to the Portsmouth neighborhood where the dogs were seized by animal control. Neighbors are reacting to news of police seizing 33 dogs from this home on Bold Street. It's terrible. It's a disgrace. For real, to people that love animals. Search warrants say it happened last week in connection to animal cruelty and dog fighting. You can hear them howling all the time. I mean, it's just terrible. Antoinette Smith is a dog owner who lives down the street. She told News 3 she's used to hearing dogs at this home barking throughout the day. You can tell when he's pulling up and like they're getting ready, to, you, you figure they're getting ready to get fed because they're, they're like going off. Leonard Madison lives here. Police arrested him on gun possession charges unrelated to the dozens of dogs seized from the home. A warrant signed by a Portsmouth Animal Control officer states at least 10 pit bull type dogs were tethered with heavy chains in this backyard. Now the warrant states that an animal control officer went inside the home and found dogs that were covered in feces, trash and debris. Now as you can see tonight, there are multiple notices posted on the house saying that it has been condemned. Animal control officers say they also found a dog treadmill associated with dog fighting. I never seen what the dogs look like at all. So that was kind of odd there too. You never see somebody walk an animal. While some neighbors were suspicious. Nothing like out of the ordinary to make you think that there's some kind of cruelty going on over there. I only seen one dog. Others never suspected a thing. This neighbor didn't want to appear on camera, but says she thought Madison was a nice man. And I still think he's a nice person, but people get caught up sometimes. In Portsmouth, Kovalasaki, News 3.